Hello, Sunshine. Do I have a Timu haul for you today? I have gotten gadgets after gadgets after gadgets to make your life a lot easier. So come on back and join me for my haul. sunshine and how are you I am doing so much better now that I'm here with you I just enjoy spending my time with you and sharing little things I found and little tricks of the trade so if you're new to my channel welcome welcome I'm so glad to have you here <clears throat> if you're one of my current subscribers oh my goodness gracious gracious me God gave me this channel glory be to God Thanks to you subscribers, we have hit 1,000. We hit it on exactly two months to the day that I've had this channel. Now this is all, all praises. Because I had nobody recommend my channel. Nobody send anybody here. You all just found it. And you found me. And I guess you kind of like this crazy lady. <laughs> well... We are going to have a tremendous Timu haul today. But I wanted to thank you all. Thank you so much. And let's keep growing. Let's see how big we can get this channel. Now that we're at a thousand, things have changed. So they're watching my comments, my likes, my shares, my this, my that, my everything. <laughs> so I need your help. I need your help, guys, so come on, help me out. So, now, I'm going to help you out with some gadgets and things to make your life a lot easier. Now, before we get in this haul, I am a team of affiliate. Now, the link is in below in my description. If you're new to Timu, it's an online marketplace that has thousands of vendors. And you can get just about any product you want, unless it's food, edible. But I do have cat treats and dog treats, but no edible human food. <laughs> but they've got everything else. If you saw it on this store, or that store, or that marketplace, check it out on Timu. I bet you the price is a lot better. But my link is down there. First time users get 50% off their first order. But you only have an hour. So keep that in mind when you're shopping. And you also get a $100 coupon bundle. Now, if you're a current Timu subscriber, you can use my code and get a $100 coupon bundle. It's a win-win. Can't lose. And if you play Timu games, Fish Land and Farmland, my links are in my description at the very bottom where I play, so come play with me. Come play with me. All right. As I take care of all the housekeeping. Now, reports. My last haul, I hauled a lettuce vegetable bag. That was supposed to keep lettuce fresher longer. Well, let me tell you, it's going back. Went to the grocery store, fixed my lettuce like I always do. But this time I put it in the bag. Don't you know within two days my lettuce was starting to brown? So the bag is bad. It's worse for your lettuce than just leaving it in the original plastic that the store had it came in. Do not get the lettuce bag and put lettuce in there. You're going to be wasting your money. And we know how much lettuce costs. Now the banana bag... I haven't had my full week yet to test it out. But so far, so good. The banana bag seems to be working. So I'm pleased with the banana bag. But the lettuce bag, no, no. No, no. No, no, no lettuce bag. Don't even get it. Oh, I think that's all the reports I have this week. 
Now the leaf bag that I hauled, the giant leaf bag that had the handle and everything that stood up by itself and stood in the grass, my husband used it and he loves it. He absolutely loves it. He said it's like having somebody out there hold the trash can for you. Works for me. If he thinks his leaf bag is being held for him by somebody else and I don't have to go do it. <laughs> Isn't that terrible of me? But he loves it. He said it works great. So that's all my reports. That's all I've got tested out so far. So let's get into this haul with some shortcuts. Good shortcuts. So the first thing, cool weather. And boy, is it cool. Do you know I had to scrape the ice off the windshield this morning? My husband's going to work. He came back in. I said, what are you doing back in? I got to get the ice scraper, he says. Mercy me. Mercy, mercy, mercy. So, cool weather. What do we think of? Lots of sandwiches and soups or just a warm sandwich. What's your favorite? We love grilled cheese. We love us some grilled cheese. So, instead of having to pull everything out and mess with grilled cheese, blah, blah, blah. Guess what I found on Timu? You ready? Bake it. That's what they say. Bake it. Watch this. This little contraption, if I can get it open, because you know my nails. <laughs> this little contraption. Oh, nice silicone. Nice. Where's my little team of cloud? Got to have my little team of cloud. I don't know. Oh, uh, this one. Nice open. Okay, this is what we've got. Sorry about the crinkle. Usually I don't have that much crinkle. I do apologize. Okay. This is what we have. Now, this is all silicone. We've got a lever here, a lever here, all silicone. So we undo the lever and we lift this up. Now this, I mean it feels cold, like metal, but I don't know. Alright, let's take our sandwich. Let's put a little butter on our bread and put our bread on here, butter down. Let's load it up with some cheese. Let's put another slice of bread. A little butter on the top. Okay, we're going to do all that. Then we're going to take this. And we're going to put it back on. We're going to close this. We're going to close this. And guess what? We're going to take this whole contraption. Now, it's weighting the sandwich down. Because this is a little heavy. It's weighting the sandwich down. We're going to put it in the microwave for three minutes. Now, when it comes out of the microwave, we're supposed to have us a good old grilled cheese sandwich. Go with some tomato soup now. I'm talking chicken noodle. Oh, yeah. Let's get to make us some soup. So, this is supposed to make hot toasted sandwiches like the paninis in the microwave. In the microwave. So, you know I'm going to test this out. And you know I'll have it tested by the time I do my next haul. let y'all know. Because I'm really excited about this. Because I'm telling you, weekends for lunch a lot, we eat grilled cheese. And I'd much rather clean up this little thing than have to mess with the frying pan and the spatula. And da 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 Y'all know what I mean. Come on now. Come on now. So, we're going to try it. This little microwave microwave grill press was $16.59. Now, in the description below will be the price and description of everything I'm showing you today. So don't worry if you didn't get it or the description is in the bottom. But yeah, microwave grill press. So make microwave paninis. We're going to try that out. See if that sucker works. Alright, now this next is because our favorite grocery store has been putting Mexican food on sale a lot. And we love us some Mexican. Usually eat about once a week. Look at this. 
nice and soft. Open up. It's got some type of insulation on the material because I can hear it. Can you hear it? Yeah. Nice big pocket. Nice big pocket. Got a little handle. Now this came with many different designs on it. This is just the one I chose. But what you do is you put your warm tortillas in here. You put your tortillas in here. Your big warm shells to keep them warm. So why you, Because how many of y'all know how quick those things get cold? Oh my goodness. I mean, if you're getting the dinner with half hard, half soft, by the time you finish making your hards, the softs are already cold again. So, this little thing. It's a tortilla warmer. It was $4.84. Like I said, it has all different kinds of designs in the front. So, I'm excited about trying that out. All I'm thinking about is food, food, food. <laughs> Alright, now these little things. How many of y'all have gone to a restaurant, drive through? you didn't hear that, and gotten a taco salad? We do. I love them. But they've gotten so expensive. So, with these little tortilla shells, they're metal. You get two. You take your soft, warm tortilla. You put it in here. Shape it around just like you would a pie crust. Then you stick them in the oven to bake. And when it comes out, man, you got a crispy taco salad. Well, this is what the review said, and this is what the ad said. So, we're just going to have to find out for ourselves. But they're metal. Very sturdy. All the coating, stickless coating. So, I mean, I see no need to get these dirty. And you know what else you can do with these that I like? You put the tree in, you bake it, get it all crispy, bring it out. You can serve in these too. I like that. And I like the fact that it comes with two. It usually makes it easier to do when you have family. Just multiples of two. So, we're going to try this out. Boy, am I going to have a lot of reports next haul. <laughs> now, oh, my shirt. Didn't tell you about my shirt. Happiness is being a grandma. Picked this up on Timu. So, I'll have the link to that. And my clothes try on is coming. I'm getting all my clothes together that I've hauled from Timu. All my pretty dresses and things. So, my clothes haul is coming. I'll be modeling for you as much as I can model. <laughs> if y'all want to see old grandma model. Alright, now these are nice. Now, my grandchildren are starting where they want to cook in the kitchen. So I said, okay, let me check these out. So I bought this set for me. Because I want to see how it does. Oh, taco shells, $3.59 for two. I want to see how these knives do. Got a good handle. I mean, they're sturdy. They're sturdy. And I got a little blade. I mean, the blade feels... This one. This one is like a paring knife. It has a real fine, fine little blade. Okay. Now, this one, the blade feels like the little paring knife did. The same kind of cuts, but a little bit bigger, farther apart. So, I want to try these things for myself. I saw in the ad they were slicing a tomato. Now, slicing a tomato is not easy. You got to have a good knife to slice a tomato. So, I want to see how these little things do slicing a tomato. And how they do. So, while we're having our grilled press paninis and one day having our Mexican fiesta, I'll be using these knives. Came three in a pack. $2.24. So, I mean, it's a good deal. I just want to see how well they're going to cut. And if they cut well, then I guess I'll be sending them bunches off to each grandchild's house. So, I thought that was really kind of cool. Now, here's something that my husband caused me to find. 
Because he takes his lunch every day. But sometimes he wants a little ketchup or a little blue cheese dressing or a little creamy French dressing or whatever, whatever, whatever. A little mayonnaise to add in it to his tuna soup. So, I've been sending my littlest storage containers. I saw these. Look at these. In fact, that even says honey mustard and that says ketchup. But you can put anything in there you want. You don't have to put what the label says. It comes with four. 98 cent. 98 cent comes with four. Let's see how big. Oh, yeah. That hole will squirt ketchup in, mustard in. Now, the mayonnaise might be a little harder, but your salad dressings and anything like that will go right in. Go right in. Now, do these tops work? Unscrew. Yeah. Don't screw it. And you know what? To be honest, and I'm not going to tell him, so don't you tell him. But with four of them for 98 cents, that's less than a quarter apiece. If he accidentally throws one away with his lunch, I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him. I want him to think I'll be, so he don't. <laughs> but if he does, it's all right. It's less than a quarter. As long as you don't throw four away at one time before I can get my next team to order. <laughs> there is that, right? All right, so those are 98 cents. Now, we're talking about the holiday season and cooking. I showed you all kinds of neat little gadgets on the last video. Well, how many of you out there make bread? That's not many. Now listen, bread is easy to make. It just looks hard. It's really easy to make. And I found this little thing that's going to make it even easier. Even easier to make. It's like a little torpedo. A little corn husk that hadn't been husked. You ready? Ta-da. Oh, just... So it's the bowl, but look at the lining in that bowl. You know what you do with this bowl? Look at the shape. Think about it. You can proof your bread dough in here, and when you're ready to bake it, bake your loaf. Look, take this side of the handle, put it through the little slit in there, stick it in the oven. Look at that. Bake your bread. Just bake your bread right in here. So, not only can you proof it in here, you can bake it in here. And this little thing was only $4.54. I mean, it is good silicone. Good. I mean, look, it's thick. It's thick. So, you got a bowl. You can even do your mixing in. So, you can mix in it. You can proof in it. And you can bake in it. Baking in it. Can you imagine? Baking in it. Yes, this is oven proof, bed oven proof bread baker. Say that three times fast, won't you? <laughs> I can't. Four dollars and fifty four cents. So I thought that was a really good, good deal. Now, let me ask y'all. How many of y'all have hauled and have these little hand towels? I love these little things. I get them. Grandchildren love them. Don't have to worry about them not putting my towel back on the hanger correctly or anything else. Just hand towel for the bathroom. I have a little one on my kitchen cabinet in the kitchen for the grandkids. Very soft. Very, very, very soft. Very fluffy. Oh, very soft. Okay, I'm going to take a nap. I'll see y'all when I wake up. <laughs> No, but it's very soft, very fluffy. So just hang them up on a little hook. Now this little hand towel is a dollar forty-eight cent. But let me tell you how absorbent these are. I mean, I've bought these. Every every grandchild has one of these in their bathroom at their house. Every one of them. Now you say, okay, what if I don't have a hook? Timu, now come on, come on, it's Timu time. Bought a package of hooks. They got the sticky adhesive. Just a little hook. Stick it up on the wall. Let me 
Okay. And I got five hooks, five of these hooks for 95 cents. Can't beat that deal. Just cannot beat that deal. Five hooks. Oh, hooks. Yeah. 95 cents. Thought that was a steal. Can't beat them. Now, this next little item is to now remember all these are things to make our job easier, whether it's cooking or cleaning or whatever else we get to. Found a unique little toilet brush. Now, I bought the Timu toilet brushes before, but I got this one because I think this one is going to get my grandchildren to help me in the bathroom cleaning. You're looking at me. It's a cherry. Yeah, it is a cherry. And a pretty little cherry. A little cherry still. Pretty little cherry. Ready? Ready? <laughs> it is a good, stiff toilet brush. And it's got the lip so the water doesn't sling out. Look at that. Toilet brush. So, this cherry toilet brush, are you ready for the price? I don't think you're ready. And I've got the link below so you can get the same deal I did. A dollar seventy-four. You can't buy an ordinary brush. Look at this. Look at this handle. I mean, you're not going to bend it. You're not going to bend this handle. We're talking sturdy. You, you can't go anywhere else and buy one for $1.74. Hard. Plastic. Nice soft bottom. Look at that. $1.74. Can't beat it. Well, you say can't beat them, join them. I joined them. So, I'm hoping. We'll see Saturdays when the grand, if the grandchildren are over on a Saturday. We'll see if that helps me, helps them help me. I am so tongue-tied today. You know, I think I didn't get enough coffee. I think that's what it was. Now, this next thing is so cute. And I like it because it comes complete. Now, when I get a craft project or a DIY project, I like them to come complete. I wish the DIY kits came with little frames. Now, this is the diamond painting. This is your little boat with your pen and your wax and all your jewels, all the different colors. But look, it comes with this. Sam, what is this? What is this? This is the coaster holder. So, we have a coaster holder. What do you put in a coaster holder? Coasters. 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 Now, these particular ones are horror ones. And I'm sorry that it came after Halloween. Well, just little drink coasters. So, you put the diamond bits and decorate the coaster. And then you've got... Now, you're saying, wait a minute, putting diamond bits on coasters? It's cool. Because I've had the coaster set before. You just used to use that sealant. And Timu sells it. It's in the big pink bottle. That's the sealant I use. If you want the link... Just shoot me a comment, and I can add the link. I didn't think about doing that when I was doing my description. I'm sorry. But there you go. So you got everything to make eight coasters. And the little coaster. And this is good thick metal. This is not plastic. This is metal. There you go. And these were $8.98. I mean, that's the whole kit. For everything. $8.98. I mean, you can't get a decent set of coasters. Just plain coasters. For cheaper than $8.98. So I thought that was a real good deal. I was real happy with that. Very happy with that. Now, let's flip to the other side of the desk. Everybody knows I have kitty cat. Love my cats. I have a domino and I have a cookie. Now... You all know that I'm working on my charm bracelet, my dupe charm bracelet. So I got a new charm for it. 
I saw this charm. And I thought of my little cookie girl. And I thought of cookie girl for two reasons. First reason is because she's my cookie girl. Second reason, if you saw my dollhouse hauls, and if you haven't, go back and check them out. I have got a little black and white cat to go in my dollhouse. Well, I've decided since she's black and white, I would name her Cookie after my little girl. So Cookie's in the dollhouse. That's the name of our cat in the dollhouse, Cookie. But look at this. I would get my black cloth down, but I really don't think it's going to help because you know how small these charms are. But look, can you see? Little kitty cat. Got a little collar and a little, ah, stop rolling. Fishbone on the collar. Little pink ears. I mean, it's just adorable. I think there's a dot of pink on the nose. But you got a really, yeah, there you go. Now I can see it. But it's a little charm. It's one of those 923 silvers. So it was $5.98. So I thought that was real neat. So I will be adding that to my bracelet. Now, got some jewelry. So let's get our little board down. Get our little board down. Get our little Timu knife down. All right. Ran across some earrings. Y'all know I love me some earrings. Well, it's fall. So I was looking for some fall earrings. What do we think of fall? Yes, my husband will tell you leaves. <laughs> leaves. <laughs> well, I agree. When I think of fall, I think of leaves too. Come back here. Come back here. I'm trying to show. I want to show off how pretty you are. Just gold earrings. Simple. Just gold earrings. And these little leaf earrings, guess how much? 77 cents. I mean, you gotta love Timu's jewelry. Yeah, perfect size. I like them. So we got me some gold leaves. And then, besides gold leaves, these are a little, I think they're boho. They might be modern, but I think they're boho. Tell me what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think. Hold on. There we go. Ugh! Contortionist, contortionist. There they are. Just, just cute little square, unique design earrings. And these little earrings were 97 cents. I thought they were unique. Unique. I like unique. Now these. I think this year my color is going to be for fall and winter. Purple. Because I seem to be drawn to a lot of purple. I seem to be drawn to a whole lot of purple. My Trixie baby is laying under the desk. I do. I hauled some purple earrings in my last haul. Now I'm hauling these. There you go. It's all silver with purple gems. They were 98 cent. So I think I'm gonna start looking at some of the clothes for fall when I do. Look at the purples. Because it seems to me that for some reason, I am just pulling towards purples this fall. Now this, and you know I'm famous for these. Because I love wearing my sweaters with my leggings. Oh my goodness, if this is not a tangle web. Hold on a second while I get this out. Because right now, i it's a bracelet. That's how tangled it is. <laughs> That's how tangled it is. It looks like a bracelet. I have no chain. Oh my gracious me. Do these things get so tangled in the bags? Makes you wonder. 
Uh oh, Slipknot. No, 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 no. Come back here. <laughs> All right, what are you? No, no, not allowed. This is a beautiful gold box chain. It really is. Pretty chain. Pretty chain. All right, let me get this down because nobody's neck is that short. Beautiful. Look how long that is. Long. Box chain. Now, this is what they call a sweater necklace. That's why it's so long. Because it's made for sweaters, so it hangs lower. You got your little diamond design here, your two little pearls. That's what it is. A little sweater necklace. And this little sweater necklace was $2.60. Yeah, I have a lot of these. I like these. Because I do wear a lot of sweaters with my leggings in wintertime. And you got to have something on. You, you got to have a long necklace. You can't wear an ordinary necklace. That'd be too short. So, now, this little set I got, excuse me, for my granddaughter. She just got her ears pierced three months ago. So... We're going to try her with earrings. Now, this package come with a whole bag of earring bags. Whole bag. And it comes with... Thirty-six pairs of little silver earrings. Look at these. Just little silver earrings. All different shapes and designs. 36 pair. So she should be able to wear these for a while until she gets used to losing them. Which I totally expect. Probably two thirds of these will be lost. But these little earring set was. You ready? You ready? Dollar 99. Mm -hmm. Dollar 99. Can you believe that? I mean, they don't look cheap. So, we will try that with her. And that gives her plenty of earrings to lose as she practices taking them on, taking them off, and doing this and doing that with them. <laughs> now, we're still in the line. We're in the line of clothes here. I got two of these. I've got one in bronze. And I've got one in silver. So let me open them both up for you. Then we'll talk about them. Because it is getting that time of year. Well, we're going to be wearing sweaters. And little sweaters. Just little crew sweaters. Little cardigan sweaters. My Trixie is trying to lay under here. And not giving me any room. <laughs> Look. It's a sweater clip. Clip it to both ends of your sweater. So you clip it to your sweater here. And you don't have to button your sweater or anything else. It holds it together. So you're holding your sweater open. And like I said, I got a silver one. And I got a bronze one. The bronze. Color on that. And these little sweater clips... Or $1.17 a piece. Which is not bad. But a lot of times if you're just throwing on a sweater. Sometimes you just throw it over your shoulders. You don't even want to button it or mess with it. Get a little sweater clip. Works every time. Now. For those people. Like me. That get hot natured. I have two of these. I have a black one and a white one. So let me open these up. They get hot natured. But have sweaters sometimes. They come a little bit lower <clears throat> than they want to show. And a lot of these sweaters now are showing cleavage, and I'm not into that. So, got an old school word for you. Are you ready? Dicky. Oh, what, 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 what? Come on now. Somebody out there has got to remember what dickies are. It's a false neck got straps here 
that you take and you put it around your bra strap and snap it. So what you do is wear it here. Put these around your bra strap to snap. And then you've got this that looks like you're wearing a white shirt under your sweater. But you don't have to wear a camisole or another shirt to make you hot. But it looks like you've got a little silk camisole underneath in white or a little silk camisole in black. So here I've given the impression, hid my cleavage and everything else, and not gotten hot. Love these little things. And these little dickies are $1.49. They come in several different colors. I just thought, cover my bases, get a black one and a white one, because usually with camisoles, I'm either wearing a black or a white. So hopefully that'll cover my bases. If not, I'll be back on Timu and order me a different color. Now, again, this haul is all about things to help you and make your life easier. We have a light. Now, sometimes we want a light where there's not a light. And we're like, oh my gosh, I do not want to call the electrician. I do not want to pay all that money to have a light put in. This comes with the screws if you want to wall mount it. Or comes with a double stick pad. But it's a little pull string light. Now this light does take, let me check. Let me check. It takes three AAA batteries. Three AAA batteries. Okay. Now you've got a little drop pull string. But look at this light. You can make the angle any angle you want straight up to get more light a little of an angle so it'll jet off if you're going down the hallway or if you want to do it in a closet put it to the closet wall and just a little pull cord a little pull cord and this little light was two dollars and 68 cents i thought that was a good deal i don't have to call an electrician i got a light bulb like it's a real light Three AAA batteries. I can handle that. I can handle that. $2.68. So I like that. I said, that's going to make me my life a little better. Now, for those that don't know, I wear eyeglasses when I read or when I watch TV. And definitely when I drive. So... I know you've seen these before, but I got them because I'm going to put it in the little console pocket behind, beside my recliner because that's where I keep my glasses for watching TV. And it's just a little eyeglass cleaner. Let's see. I got my sunglasses up here. Okay. They're still eyeglasses. They're soft foams, just like this. And just clean your lenses. 28 cent. I mean, come on, 28 cent. We can get one for the car. We can get one for our favorite chair that we sit and watch TV in. Put one in our favorite little nook where we read our books. 28 cent. Nice, good plastic. Nice, soft pads. So I said, okay, that'll make my life a little bit easier, and that's all what I'm here about. Now, this this actually I ran across looking for something to help my husband with his motorcycle because you know he was to wear a helmet and the helmet fogs up and I thought about it and went oh my goodness all that time I had to wear that medical mask with my glasses and my glasses fogged up and I didn't know about this duh these are little fog wipes so we're gonna try these out on his helmet and, well, obviously, not a couple weeks, he's not riding his bike because it's too cold. But we're going to try them and see how they work out. You know how when you go into stores and your glasses fog up and then for the first few minutes, you can't see nothing. you got to take your glasses off. So we're going to try these little fog wipes. They're supposed to keep fog from forming. I'm trying to say... It's good for resin lens to coat them. It's good for sport glasses, swimming lenses, organic, optical. 
bathroom. I get I hadn't thought about that. That's a good idea. You know how your bathroom mirror always fogs up when you take a shower? That's good. Helmet and other transparent glass and plastic. That's a good idea, you know. I'm going to try this out on the bathroom mirror. I think there's three in here. I'm going to try it out in the bathroom mirror. And we'll try it out in this helmet. And I will let y'all know how this works. I'm very excited about that. Let me leave a little note to myself about trying that to see how it works. Yeah. Left a little note so I can get back with you. So we're going to try those. Now, it's another gadget to make your life easier. How many of y'all have sewing machines and sew? I do. Now, we all know that our sewing machine has a light underneath it. How many of y'all think that light's sufficient? I don't. I don't. Maybe it's just me and age and my eyes, but I don't. So I ran across this. Now, this is marketed as a light for your sewing machine. But you know what? You can use it for so much more. Here, let me open this. I have a plug over here. Let's see if this is long enough to reach. Let's see how much light we get on this. Let's see. Can I do it? Can I do it? I might be able to do it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Well, if I could plug it in. Alright. So here we go. It's a little strip. We can see the LED lights and stuff on the strip. But you know, this doesn't have to be just for a sewing machine. This can be for anything up close that you're doing and just want to glue a little strip onto it to help your vision. Alright, watch yourself if you're not used to, because I don't know if it's going to flash and I don't know if it's going to come on bright. Well, I saw something. I'm not trying on right. Okay. Well, shoot fire and save matches. All right, we got one strip, and you know, these are pretty bright, so I'm real happy about this. And this little sewing machine light, as they advertise it, $3.84, but this is a flexible light. I mean, we can put this anywhere. I like this. I like that. I think I'm going to be putting that more places than just my sewing machine. I think I might have to get another one, so I do like that one. Now... In my reading nook, I put my glasses on to help me read, but I'm, I ain't quite gotten the hang of them progressive lenses yet, that new prescription. So when I read, I need some help. So check out what I got for 89 cent. 89 cent. Magnifying. Grandma. See this way, does it? There you go. And look how big it is. Look how big that thing is. Look at that. 89 cent. I don't know about you, but when I get into my paperbacks, it'll cover just about the whole page. So I'm real happy about that. And it's flexible. It's flexible. It's not glass. It's just flexible. But I'm excited about that can help my reading because I love to cuddle up in my chair put a nice blanket over me and just read I love that so like I said you can't 89 cent now this next section is for anybody and everybody who has a guitar a grandchild that has a guitar a nephew a niece a son a daughter this is my guitar section for my grandson that plays the guitar all right the first thing we have, y'all have to bear with me now. I have three grandchildren that play guitars. All right, this little thing here comes with the battery, okay? It's a little clip-on tuner, but it comes in the box. You've got directions, and it comes with the battery. 
and this is a little clip-on tuner. You clip this on, just the top of your guitar, put your batteries in, and this will read it to help you tune your guitar. So, I thought that'd be a quick, easy little tuning solution for him. And that little guitar tuner was $2.50. Good deal. Good deal. Now, this, I don't know, but it's supposed to make electric guitars louder. <laughs> I don't know. He asked for this, and I looked at it on another company and went, <laughs> and I looked at Timu, like I always do for something. All right, you got your cord that plugs in to your amp here, the big one, and this one plugs into this unit. And let's see, watch what we have here. What do we have? We have something that doesn't want to come out of the bag. There we go. All right, we have this. Now this must go on the strings. I just got a pad and a spot and a pad and a spot. So this must go on the strings. I don't know. This is tone and volume. Tone and volume. So you can change your tone and your volume. And your little cord. And this little, they call it a guitar pickup. And this little unit was $6.63. But let me tell you, put guitar pickup on and look at other places. Thank you, Timu. <laughs> so we have a guitar pickup. Now remember, the links to everything is going to be at the bottom of your description. Now, what do you have here? All right, here, guitar players go through picks because they lose them. In my family. They lay them here. They lay them there. They lay them everywhere. Alright. Nice little metal case. Nice little metal case. Open it up. And we have storage for your picks. Comes with 10 picks. And just a cute little wooden guitar in the case. Wait a minute, it might come with more than 10 picks. Hold on. Hold up. Let's, let's take this top piece out. Oh my goodness. No, 10 picks. Look at this one. That one's pretty. Look at that guitar pick. That one's pretty. Ooh, got a pretty red one. A light hit it. Can you see the light hit it? I got an orange. Orange. And a pink. My granddaughter would like that pink one and we've got like a pearl one but there's 10 guitar picks in here in this little case and your little that would go good in my dollhouse and I tell him I say you don't need that give it to grandma girl I'll put it in a dollhouse <laughs> this little fix in case were two dollars and 98 cents that's a good deal that's a good deal now Got him a couple pieces of jewelry. A couple little bracelets, guitar bracelets. Like I said, this little section is all musically. This is one of those little leather bands. You got the faux leather braided straps, this one. And, oh boy, it fastens like this up. So, I don't know... If that is a fastener he can do by himself or not. There it is. And this little bracelet was a dollar seventy nine. Dollar seventy nine. Little guitar. So that was real cute. Now I got this one. Cause the the kids are still wearing the bands, the rubber ones. And this one says, Music is my life and my life is music. Who said that? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. I just got 
got music notes on it. And this was $1.98. And it's just one of those black stretch ones. And then, y'all know we collect pins in the family. So, I saw this little pin. And I said, this looks like one of his electric guitars he has. Look at that. A little enamel pin. A little electric guitar. Isn't that cute? And this little pen was 89 cents. So if you know somebody who likes guitars, inexpensive, nice items for them. Now, if you know anybody who likes music, look at this. $4.44. Look at this music folder. And I mean, this is thick. It's like vinyl. Front. Back. Open it up, and it's got 10 pages on this side with the flaps, and 10 pages on this side. Let's open this. How do we open this thing? I'm going to show you how the pages turn. Well, we're just going to go in for surgery. I don't see an easy way. <laughs> I don't see an easy way in. Let's just cut our way in. Ta-da. There we go. That's right. Cut our way in. And we paid for it. It's ours. We can take the paper off now. Yeah, we can take the paper off now. It belongs to us. So there you go. And look at the back of it. Look at the binder. I mean, it's going to take a little shaping. As we know, it got shipped halfway across the world. And then here, you've got clear pages where you can put your music in. Just slide your music right in. So there's 10 pages on this side. And then 10 pages on the other side. So anybody really who does music or wants to keep their music for together, maybe you have a special presentation coming up and you want to just put all your music for that show up or that presentation. Perfect little folder. $4.44. Cute as it can be. Nice and sturdy. For any kind of music. And you know, that might be something people in the church choir want to do. Just to keep their music together. Because everybody's getting ready for Christmas cantatas. That's an idea. That's an idea. Now, we're going to take a little break. And we're going to go to Brass and the Dollhouse. You say, what? These are all brass things for the dollhouse. We're almost finished everything. But I had a few things that I ordered that came in. Now these are the lights. And I'm going to use the same light in the kitchen, in the bathroom, and in the bedroom. Oh, lights. So picture this glued on the ceiling. And that's your little light. Oh. Mine's of the old-fashioned globe lights. Yep. And that package came with two. So, we'll have the old-fashioned globe lights in the bedroom, the bathroom, and another package, kitchen. And those little lights were $2.48. So, I was happy with those. Now, you know we're going to have a fireplace in there. So... We have to get stuff for the fireplace, right? You can't just have a fireplace sitting there. Oh. So, let's see how this is working out for us. This is supposed to be all of the necessary tools and things for the fireplace. Alright. So, we've got the stand. A little stand to go beside the fireplace. We have... The fireplace poker. That's supposed to go in here. And there, all right, we got the poker. Oh, look, 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 look. The little shovel. The little shovel. And the brush. And look at that, that is a real brush. And the brush goes in. So there we go the fireplace and that little set of tools for the fireplace was four dollars and 48 cents now 
we got a little mirror. Now remember, I'm just doing the brass stuff. But we've almost seen everything. Dollhouse is getting there. We've got a video coming up when we do the wallpaper and the flooring. If you haven't seen my dollhouse videos, go check them out. I've done two. You only missed two. All right. This is a mirror. Look at the mirror. Isn't that cute? A brass mirror. And this little mirror was $2.90. Look at that. Oh, we see repetitory mirror. Mirror, 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 mirror. <laughs> echo, echo, echo. All right, what is this? Oh, okay. These are for the front porch. We have to have scones, sconces, outside of our light by the front door, right? Of course we do. We've got to have... So, look at these little scones. A flat, put on the side of the house. So. I had two in a pot. They were two dollars and forty-one cent. So we're gonna have little scones, sconces, scones, whatever. You say tomato, I say tomato. And last but not least, and I think we have a broken piece on this one. So we're going to have to see how bad it's broken. Whether I have to send it back or whether I can fix it. I hope we don't have to send it back. I'm hoping it's something I can fix. But I did see a loose piece floating around. Alright, this is the towel rack for the bathroom. So, it's a brass towel rack. Need to bend a little bit, but they're not bad. Take this down. So we can get a better view. Alright, so I don't see anything broken. Do you? Or am I missing something? But this is bent and broken. Don't watch is it. But you know, I don't see any place it could go. Mm-mm. And it's not even the same width, so I, I, oh, I see, I see, okay, it goes over here, let's see what we can do, oh, I hate that, because that's got a big bend in it, oh, mm -hmm. but we can cover the bend with a towel once we get it on there, use my desk, I need a little pressure. I told you my hands since that stroke just are not strong anymore. Okay. I think we got it straight. Now let's put this in here. Oh, this got bent out too. Let's bend this out. Oh my goodness. I'm committing. Committing. I'm having surgery on the towel rack. All right. So that goes in there. This goes in here. And this goes in here. I think we got it. By Jove, I think we got it. Well, it still needs a little tweaking. You can see it's bent. But we'll see what we can do. I think we can do something with it without sending it back. And this little towel rack was $3.49. And they came with a pink towel and a blue towel. Now, we'll use the blue towel because we know our bathroom is blue. But the pink one, I'll just put aside for anything else we're going to donate to who I donated the other dollhouse furniture to. So, now we go. Now, again, we're talking things that will make our life easier. It's wintertime. It is time. To put on our shoes again. Ooh, I know, I know. Believe me, I know. I'm a Carolina girl that loves to go barefoot. I know all about hating to wear shoes. So, picked up these. They're inserts. Now, these inserts are for a size six shoe because that's what I wear. Let's see how they are. All right, you get two. Okay, real soft. 
Balls of your feet, yeah. Arch support. Okay, I like these. These are very soft. Do you know how much these were? 97 cents. Let's see what. You've got some definition. Let me hold them up here. Okay. Good heel support. Arch support. The balls of your feet. So these were 97 cents. And I think our feet are going to need them after the summer of flip flops and sandals. And now we got to put them back in dress shoes and casual shoes. But we got heels on them and all that. Mm. So I would advise inserts. And for 97 cents, can't beat them. Can't beat them for 97 cents. Now, what did I say? We also have heels. And we need our feet to be comfortable. Check these little things out. You get two in a pack. Look at the padding on those. Those are like my mattress. Look at that. Can you see? That? Can you see how thickly that is? <coughs> Trixie, it's okay, baby. Look at that. Now these go around the heel of your shoe just to give you that cushion and also to keep your heel from sliding in and out in and out but these little cushion inserts were a dollar 47 now they're sticky on this side this just peels up and it's sticky dollar 47 so with these and these we're getting our feet ready for shoes again for winter I know people don't think about these being important. They're important to me and my feet, and my feet will get me around. Now, another little gadget. Now, I told you my granddaughter just got her ears pierced. Well, she's got to keep her ears clean. Well, let me ask you. If you're taking the peroxide or your alcohol and you're cleaning your ears, how do you clean inside your ears? That's the question I ask. Well, sometimes when I wear heavy earrings, the next day when I put on earrings, my ear will be sensitive. So then I'll have to put Neosporin on it. And what I usually do is just get a pair of old earrings, soak my ear down with Neosporin and just put them back and forth and pull them through to get the Neosporin in my hole real good. But, found these. These are made to clean the holes of your piercings. Yes, clean the holes of your piercings. So take this. It's just a little, skinny little much of nothing, but it's sturdy. It's sturdy. Soak it down with your Neosporin or put your Neosporin on it. Pull it through. And these breaks. You can put it any level you want. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to pull it all the way through. So what I'll probably do is put some Neosporin on the end. Put it through her hole. And put some more Neosporin on it. And just let the Neosporin just pull right through her hole with this. To get any dirt, any yuck out. And make sure Neosporin gets seated in there real good. And for myself, I'm going to do it for myself too if my ears get irritated. So this is a new contraption i would never seen. And these were 97 cents. And I believe you get 50. 50 of them. 97 cents. Good gadget. Good little gadget. This one I'm going to throw away because my germy nasty hands have been all over. And I washed them before I started, but... As you know, I handle Timu stuff that's been handled by 50 zillion people halfway around the world. So, we don't trust it. Alright. The next thing I got for you is I got some new lipstick. I got some new lipstick. Y'all know I love my lipstick. Got some new lipstick. Now, this lipstick got discontinued. Between the time... I was doing my page and writing out my spreadsheet and doing this. So, I did look. There are other brands out there that are just like it. So, this is what we have. You have this end. 
which is your line. Oh, this is a lipstick and a liner. Check it out. Didn't realize that. All right, you got your liner. Don't know about that color. Looks a little orange. All right, so we got the liner. Let's reel this back in. Okay, this is a wand. Well, I can say this. The liner and the lipstick match perfectly. Look at that. They match perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. I'm very impressed with that. Still think it's going to be a little orangey for me. But we'll try it. And I will let you know. I will let you know. But now I need to get this off my hand before I get it on everything else. <laughs> Not to mention everything else I'm getting ready to show you. We don't want to have red on it, do we? And no, uh, that wouldn't be copacetic. Well, it came off awful easy, so I hope it stays on better than that. But that little lipstick was a dollar and forty-seven cent. Now, got a new eyebrow pencil. People that love me, and I do say love me, have given me comments about my makeup. They love my makeup. They think my makeup's pretty. But, they say my eyebrows are atrocious. <laughs> I know they love me. I know they love me. So don't get upset. I'm not upset. So, I said, okay. This is what God gave me. But I do put on makeup on the rest. Foundation and blush and stuff. And eyeshadow, so... Let's see what we can do about the eyebrows. So I got this little eyebrow pencil. Little eyebrow pencil was 89 cent. Okay. We have a wand. Whoops. And we have the pencil on the other end. Just scrolls up. Nice brown. Okay, so I got me a new eyebrow pencil, and I got me a wand on the end. Now, that, like I said, was 89 cents. So, I'm figuring, okay, well, what can I do? I've never driven, I, drawn an eyebrow on in my entire life. The heck am I supposed to do? Because I don't know. I really don't know. So... Where do you go? You go to Timu. Timu's got everything. So I found this package. They're stencils. Eyebrow stencils. Now they come with three, six, seven, eight. Eight of these stencils. Man, that looks like I'm putting on a mask. Okay. So I'm assuming... You snap this on here. Okay, I'm assuming you try to snap that on there. Okay, so we've got this snapped on. Comes with eight. I'm not sure what the... Oh, 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 okay, okay. Gotcha. Hold on. You have this. You string through here. Okay, pull that through. Then you string the elastic through this sign. Through this side. Okay. And then you pull that through. Alright, so basically all we did was stick it through. And just go slip on. So I take it this goes around your head. Alright, so this goes around your head. To hold this contraption on. Now, this here, this spot, is supposed to rest on the bridge of your nose. So, if we put this here and rest it on the bridge of my nose, where the heck are my eyebrows? Are they in the little compartments? I gotta feel them to see if, yeah, they are. Ooh, that comes way out. That comes way out. 
All right, well, we're going to have to check these things out. So, next video, you will see me on these. So, we will have to check those things out and see how they do. I got a lot of stuff to report from this haul, don't I? That's okay. I get to cook. I like the cooking part. Fog wipes so I can get out of the shower and look in the mirror. Now this, this was just something I picked up so I would have something in my purse. And I liked it because it came with everything. And these little things, $1.97. Now, you come, it comes with two little pads, finger pads. Just put your hot fingers. And they're very, very soft. Very, very soft. And you get two. I mean, really, really soft. Really soft. So it comes with two of these. Nice little carrying bag, which is what I wanted for my purse. And then you get a set of some makeup brushes. Let's get them out and see what we got. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? All right. Cute little green. You know, I like green. Come in many different colors. This little brushes. One's trying to get away. <laughs> it tried to sneak away. So, you've got two, four, six, eight little brushes and two little pads for $1.97. And it will all conveniently go in this little bag, which will conveniently go right in my purse. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. So I like those. I really like those. Now, this. This is something somebody showed me or sent me the link for. This is a foundation. And y'all know I love my foundation. But this foundation is supposed to adapt its color with your skin. I mean, believe me, it took me a long time to find a brand and a color a foundation that I liked. And now you're telling me this is everything automatic? I'm like, how does that work? So, let's see what we got in here. Pop, pop Feel Foundation Skin Base. Pop Feel Foundation Skin Base. So that's what we got. No smell, but look at that, look at that. Is that not weird? Now, I don't want to put it on this hand because we had lipstick, so let's put it some, let's put a little bit on this hand and see what happens. Oh, I can't squeeze my, hold on. My hands are so weak. Well, I'm going to tell you if it's, whoa. Okay, problem. Let's see if we can do the old-fashioned way and suck it up. Yeah, so you get your air clear and suck some of it up. All right, I got too much on there, way too much, but I suck some of it up. Let's see how this foundation skin base. All right, this is supposed to adapt to my skin. Looks white and creamy. It feels good. It's getting real wet. That's weird. It's getting wetter. It feels like as I roll it on. But it is changing colors. And you see that? But you see how wet it looks? I don't know. I mean, is that the color my foundation's supposed to be, I wonder? It covered all my age spots up. Look at that. You can't see any of my age spots. I covered them all up. Hmm. I don't know. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Let me just get any residue off so we don't get it on the last couple things that got the hole. Hmm. It 
lightened my hand up. Took the egg spots off. No smell. No smell at all. So, what are we going to do? Foundation. Put a dot. And guess what? I'm going to check this out. Now this, again, and I'm looking for little things <clears throat> to go in my purse. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to find out. This is a little perfume bottle. I mean, they just have a bunch selected. You pick one, they send you whatever. But they sent me a cute one. They sent me a cute one. A blue tassel. So. <laughs> Alright. It's a roller dispenser. You're supposed to t pop this top off. <clears throat> I think this may be a husband job. Nope. Yeah, I did it. Okay, so we pop the little roller off. Okay. Now, oh, that's a pretty good hole in the bottle. So you fill it up with your favorite perfume. Now, a lot of my perfumes are sprays. But don't worry. You can spray into this. And that's a roll-on applicator. So it's not going to take a lot. You do not have to fill up the whole bottle. So, I'm going to try that, and I will get back with you and let you know how that did. So, that's kind of neat. I'm real happy about that. Now, this one you're going to love. Oh, I'm sorry. The foundation was $2.97, and the perfume bottle was $0.89. Cent. Now, this. You know how kids ask, what are you getting for Christmas? What, what am I getting for Christmas? And you tell them nothing. I do that. I do that just to harass them. I say nothing. Well, guess what? Timu sells nothing. I had to fix this. Nothing. Nothing. That's what I'm getting them. It's a plastic container with nothing in it. And this little nothing container was a dollar forty-eight, but it's got nothing in it. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing for the person who has everything. Can you read that? So I got some nothing. I think this is gonna make the best little stocking stuffers or little gag gifts. I mean, nothing really. I love it. Now, this next little thing, I don't know how I saw this one. You get three in a packet. Now, these are for all those out there that want to grow plants. This is a plant pen. You grow a plant. I'm trying to see if it tells what, what is. Let me open this one. If it tells you what plants you get. All right. What does this say? I have no idea what it says, but if you look at the top of the pen, there's a picture of what it's going to look like. But look, there's seeds in there. The foam for the seeds to grow. The top has holes for you to water it. It's got instructions, but you literally grow the plant in the top of the pen. There's this one that looks like parsley or something. And there's this one that's got a pretty little pink flower thing on it. And this one, this one almost looks like grass, regular just old grass. So, we're going to try this. What are the instructions? Okay. Wow, the instructions are in Chinese. Okay. We don't have instructions. <laughs> I guess we'll just figure it out. But look, it's a pen. So you can write. Nice black pen, nice roller pen. So, can you imagine growing some plants in your purse and somebody asked, Do you have a pen I can borrow? Here you go. <laughs> so, I am going to make sure try these out 
and next haul, it'll probably take about a week for them to start sprouting. So, not next haul, but I'll, as soon as they start sprouting, I will give you a report. And those little pens, you got three of them for $3.98. So, I thought that was just a hoot. Just a hoot. Now, let me show you this. Oh, my goodness. These are gorgeous. These are absolutely gorgeous. How many of you have the scones or sconces outside your front door? Well, I do. I have one on each side. And I saw these cute little boogers. And I said, well, this is what I want to put this year on my sconces. I just thought they were so adorable. Now, there's two of them. Look. It's a snowman. And it's stiff. It's made of good material. And you've got the elastic band here to go over to your light. But this goes over your light. And then with the way this is designed in here, the light will reflect off of it. And when it comes out, it'll sparkle. Now, when I got these little snowman light covers, they were $16.98. And yes, they had other kinds. They had reindeer, Santa Claus, and something else I don't recall. But they were $16.98. But they've since come down. But look, isn't that going to be cute? And like I said, it comes with two of them. And look at the good size these are. I mean, these are not small. These are going to cover my complete scones. Sconces, whatever. So, I thought those were adorable. $16.98, but they have come down. Now, this is for all of you out there that are just like me and see things and wonder. I wonder if it's really like that in the picture. I wonder if the picture's really like this. This is something that I know everybody's seen on TV because it pops up everywhere. This is that reef. That's supposed to be 15 inches. It has a little red truck on it. And here it is. I bought one. Nice reef. There's your little truck. Nice ribbon with the truck. But this is the size of it. This is a small reef. My face fits in it perfectly. So, if you're deceived a little bit by the picture, this is not going to go on a full-size front door. I plan on putting it on my back door. I think it's the perfect size for a back door. And I absolutely love it. With the little red truck, and you've got your green. Yes, this is all plastic. But look, it's supposed to imitate cedar. You need that plastic to imitate cedar. Big, beautiful bow. And little truck. Now this is eleven ninety nine. They've also come down, so they're eleven ninety nine now. I paid fifteen twenty nine for mine, but I did get the price adjustment. And don't forget, y'all, to get those price adjustments. So, if you're looking for a little reef this size, this is going to be a perfect little country reef for you. Perfect little, even their ribbon. Has little trucks on it. I mean, it's adorable. Yes, you need to fluff it up, fluff it out. But the ribbon has wire in it. So that won't be any problem to fluff out your bow. That's going to fluff right out. That'll be no problem. Look how quick I just did that one. No problem at all. But it's adorable. It's country. As is country. I love it. I love it. So... That is my haul. That is my report. And unfortunately, that is the end of my time with you right now. But I did enjoy it. And I hope you did too. And if you did, please hit that like and comment. Let me know what your favorite item was. Let me know what you found interesting. Let me know if you found anything that will help you out. But please subscribe if you're not a member and you like my content. That helps me out. And share. Share if you know anybody that wants to talk to a crazy old grandma. <laughs> but, most of all, 
I want you to all have a blessed day. And remember, Genesis 31, 49. The Lord watch between me and thee when we are absent from one another. Thank you.